Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Shovel, and I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare 3. And this is actually going to be a pretty good match on mission. I am using the Moab class that I went over in the How to Get a Moab Easily guide. And this is going to be a very good game. I do end up getting a Moab by the end of this, and I felt that I wanted to do a pretty good game here to kind of like celebrate, because very recently I actually broke a hundred subscribers. Now, I know that this isn't that big of a deal on the big scheme of things with all the people out there with hundreds of thousands and millions and all that, but for me, this is just a stepping stone because no matter who it is, somebody, no matter how popular they are, they all had to cross through a hundred at one point. And that's where I am right now, and I'm very proud of it. I'm really happy about it. I'm happy people are liking the videos. And I'm very excited to be bringing you this gameplay right now because this marked kind of like my first landmark, I think. And I'm really excited about it. I wasn't even sure if anyone was going to see any of my videos when I started a few weeks back. And now I've got over a hundred people following me and it's really cool. And I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone. I try to answer as many comments as possible and try to be as interactive as possible. And so far people are liking it. I'm pretty happy with how quick I'm gaining subscribers. I'm gaining them over 10 per day. I even had a few days where I was over 20. And that was really cool, I'm super happy with it, and I'm finally done my cold, so I should sound totally back to normal. And just before I get too much into this, I want to talk about some other videos. The More Maps edition of the How to Get a Mob Easily guide went up a couple days ago, and I think it went pretty well. I had some trouble when uploading it, it won't give me the option to put a thumbnail on it, hopefully that doesn't change who can see it and where it's related and all that, but I haven't taken it down yet, or I haven't tried to re-upload it, so hopefully it's fine. I know at least my subscribers can find it by going through my channel. And that was just an additional four maps, so I've only gone through, I think, five of the maps now, and I will be going through all of them, hopefully. But a couple of them, I'll probably make it in a totally separate part, because I do have some bad maps that I'm just not great at. And I wouldn't want to talk like I know everything about it, how to get Moabs on them, if I don't know. I don't want to give false information, so I think there will be at least two or three that I will probably make in a separate video at the end that might be kind of like suggested on what I have been doing, but I've got some learning even still to do on them because I still just don't do great on certain maps. Um... I can't think of the names of them off the top of my head right now, and that guy runs right past me, and in the Moab guide I actually explained why I let him run past me, because that is my, kind of like my safe area for now. I'm going to be using that throughout the game to throw down vests, reload weapons, and adjust everything, and you don't really want to kill anyone from your safe area, because if you kill someone from your safe area, especially more than once or so, they're going to start checking it as they go through, so... Really, it's better to just let the person run by and pop out and get them more out in the open so it seems like you're just naturally running around. Other words, they're going to start checking, and when you are throwing down a vest, then they're going to see you and you're not going to be prepared. So it's really good to try to avoid uh, ever doing really much killing at all from your safe areas. I know I do a little bit at the end here, but pretty much for the next, I guess, four minutes or three minutes or so of this video... It's not going to be as much action because I'm actually pretty much spending the entire time just kind of hiding from the helicopter because I could kind of deal with losing the Moab attempt if, you know, someone got a really good shot or did something really impressive, but I think I'd be really upset if I lost it to a helicopter. So I'm just going to probably pretty much stay around buildings to try to block the line of sight and that and keep myself as safe from it as possible and really trying to stick along walls so it can't see me, it can't get any shots off. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit. But, so a couple more notes with some future videos is... Uh, the next Shovel Creations video is still a ways off because it's going to be even more elaborate than the Spider Defense one, which has gotten actually quite a bit of attention. I think it's almost got more views than the first slot machine now, and I think it's a lot of fun. I know I've gotten some comments about it being a lot of fun, and I'm very happy that people are enjoying it and enjoying playing it. So the next one is going to be much more elaborate. It's actually going to be probably the biggest creation that I've ever made in Minecraft. And it's going to be really impressive. It should be a lot of fun. And I think it's going to blow away pretty much everything else that I've done so far. 
So I'm excited to get that out, but it's taking a lot longer than I expected. Um, I have some trouble with a s couple of things in it, but I'm smoothing them out slowly, I'm finding better ways, and I'm actually even still learning a lot about redstone right now. Uh, I've learned a lot through that project as well because I've gotten a chance to experiment with things that are giving me problems and try to find better ways of doing things. And I've really gotten a chance to use, I've actually been working a lot with sand and gravel and all that, things that actually have drops so that I've used them in some unique ways to kind of like create little switches and that. And everything's going to be totally resettable, of course, but that's something pretty exciting. And I've actually been trying to experiment with some uh, new things as well in it. I've used some some of the pathing tricks with zombies, but that's pretty much all I really want to give away. I don't want to spoil it. I want it to still be pretty much kind of a surprise so that it's exciting when it comes out. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about this gameplay because it's getting close to the end now. And I actually do end up... I have an M4A1 right now, which is actually a pretty awesome assault rifle. I haven't really used it too much before, but in this game I actually really enjoyed it. And I also end up picking an, up an LMG, and I've been doing a lot of work with LMGs trying to get a good game. I've got a decent one, but I'm still going to keep looking. I really am not super happy with it, but I'm just, I'm not good with LMGs, and the shotgun guy there almost gets me, but I managed to survive, and back to this bush, because now I'm getting really nervous, and I took that kill there, even though I probably shouldn't have, but at this point I was extremely close, I think I was only four kills away, and I was getting nervous, and I wasn't even thinking properly anymore, and I don't know if this is just me, but when I go for Moabs and I know that I'm close, I even stop aiming down the sights a lot because my arm kind of tenses up and I get nervous and I just end up hip firing a lot because I can't really be as accurate anymore. I kind of lose a little bit of my aim, just kind of caught up in the moment thinking about it. And But that's just me, I mean, if you've gotten a lot, the more I've gotten actually the less uh, tense I've gotten right before. I don't get as nervous anymore and I think I'm one kill away here and this guy is going to be it, and there is the Moab! And this is always really exciting, I mean, I've gotten a few of these, but it just really never gets old for me. I'm not the kind of person that's going to get quad Moabs ever, I don't think. But it's it just never really gets old for me, I always enjoy it, I'm always excited to get them, and I'm really excited to bring more Moab gameplays to you guys. Because I think that a lot of people really enjoy seeing that kind of level of play, and it's always good for me to bring that, and this is probably one of the most awkward encounters I've ever had. I thought I knifed that guy, but I didn't. But I have been trying to diversify my play a little bit more. You're probably going to see some different guns in the future, but this gameplay is coming to an end, so thanks for bringing me up to 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it, guys, and I will see you guys next time.